Hey y'all, so if y'all noticed I made a post on the Facebook earlier that Bob and I bought a storage unit down near Hillsboro in Whitley, Texas. So which is about 80 miles south of us. I was unable to go and uh, put the locks on it or whatever today because I had to get my house ready because I had a uh, new Airbnb guest staying. But Bob and his son went down, put the locks on, brought back a couple of stuff and uh he said i'm going to be very very pleased so hope so we spent 1310 dollars on the unit so it's uh always good when we see so ooh albums patsy klein country music doesn't sell that good well, i don't but... know what i'll do here i just saw all these albums and i figured i would pull them right on yeah. we will uh holy shit Let's uh, open this up first. So I want to look at this fucking thing. Okay. Needs a little repair work. Yeah, it does. This is the one I think it said on the barrel. Jake said it was, what was it like, just over 19? 1901. Harrington Richardson Arms. W Worcester, or Worcester, Massachusetts. Holy shit. February 27th, 1900. That damn near looks like a blunderbuss. <laughs> Holy shit. That is amazing. I don't want this to drop. Kevin, would you hold the grass over there? Here, just pull it and set it. Hmm? Set it on the grass. Oh, pull there. it to the side, sorry. Swords. Fancy swords. That's a oh, that's a dress sword. United States Marines. Oh, that's awesome. That's, that's obviously a dress sword. But fuck, that's sharp. Sweet Jesus, I'm excited. So was I right? Was this ephemera? It is. That's not well. Not black and white. Radiant. O five o six. Yeah, that's like. They were in the beef business, huh? Yeah. Worse. I know there's pictures in here and stuff. Oh okay. So I don't know if that's going to do anything, you know, worth anything or not. Mm, maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? So. I don't want to show too much stuff. Not a great find there. But... Oh, sweet. Oh, I'm very excited. We got knives for the auction. Box of some knives in here. Good God. Oh, that's nothing, dude. So did they have like a, like what was the deal? I mean, did the guy have a flea market booth or something? I or? have no clue. But they said he died. The old man did, but the rest of the family, you know, they like I said, they called the storage facility yesterday. But there's two knives in there, two nice big ones. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Baseball bat? No, those are those are mine. Oh. Here's another one. Look at the Oh, that's cool. Linda will love it. Well, Linda can't take Take stuff to Europe, but with that's awesome. And let's see, here's another one that I got in the trunk. Good God, got its own little case. This thing's enormous. Oh, that's pretty. What is with the box? What's with the little box? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be in there or if it's like some dead samurai soul is trapped inside. Another one. She sharp. Twin. <laughs> right. We're gonna have a good auction tonight. 
<laughs> Y'all, I am stoked. This is amazing. Three pairs oh, of sunglasses in here. I just pulled these for the sake of pulling them. I don't know if they're worth anything. Yeah, sunglasses sell. Did you uh, see Susie Arizona's comment about your sunglasses? No. On the video? She, uh, she agreed with me that the Oakleys are not timeless and you need new glasses. Let's see. You want another trash holy, bag of knives? Holy shit. Are you serious? Trash bag of knives. Oh my god. This is a Franklin Mint knife. Billy the Kid. Holy shit. All kinds of good stuff in there. You had to have been shitting yourself when you... Uh, and then, you know, notice also you have all of these knives in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a couple more laying there. What's the counter ambush? It's home training course from, you know, NRA. Oh, very cool. We uh, we uh, we in the knife business, y'all. Here's a bunch of none of it that I saw was black and white. Well, excuse me. Again, I don't know if any of that's New Mexico Balloon Festival. I don't know if somebody might want any of that. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I'm sorry. Back here's another box. Another box of knives. Oh my god. This is nuts. I told you I found knives. <laughs> Got some football cards. Dude, this is so awesome. Some scrapbook stuff. Yeah. Looks like probably stuff they picked up in a hotel or something of yeah. sightseeing, you know, places to go. Same thing in there. That oh, was some yeah. cool pictures. Yeah. So you got that. Let's go to my back seat, okay? Let's check out what's in the back seat. Oh, hold on. We didn't never even looked at this yet. Oh, the treasure chest. That even smells old. So, I don't know. I mean, huh. watch looks kind of neat. Yeah. And I don't know if any of this is anything. Well, we will go in and test it. Holy shit balls. Look at that. Wow. Any old flip phone. Oh, you just throw it down. It's all you want to go. Yeah, just leave it there. And then there's another box or something there. Oh. Yeah, this is empty. There's nothing in it. Oh. Let's see what's in the back. Holy shit. Are this you is kidding more like me? Pictures and stuff. Again, not any black and white, but I didn't really sort through it too much. And then, oh, wait a minute. Did I say that we found some knives too? Oh my god. What in the hell? This is like a retail display thing. And then you've got you got a bunch of Dale Earnhardt's. And then you've got boxes and boxes of Oh wow. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this was a mother load. If you like knives, this is it. Police. Then let's see. We got what in the hell? There's Kirby. 
Let's see. I'm six feet tall, so that's, you know, whatever, five feet tall. Yeah. The White House, what's it say? United States, Washington, D.C. What? <laughs> because there are knights who need broadswords defending the White House. Uh, and then, this looks like something that you would hang on the wall. And, oh, and, this, and, and this you would use in real battle? Yes. <laughs> wow. It says Robin Hood on it. Look, that's the movie tie-in. That's flipping amazing. I kind of want to... Oh, you know what? You know what? I may have to keep this. Because that's the Washington Monument. It's worth money, dude. And that is... So now we're getting into Masonic stuff now. And then here's two more. Knives or guns? No. Shotgun. Oh. So there's your BB gun. Yeah, it's so a 410. The, the other thing, keep this Savage up. Arms. Wow. Keep this in mind in this one, in the, I think it's the trash bag. Yeah. I'm not sure that this fits any of those guns, so I think we got, uh, we got other stuff to find in that unit. What gauge is that? No. Four tens, tiny. That's like ten or twelve gauge. I don't see it saying anything. Oops, on here. No, it literally says Dove and Quail. Wait, there. I can't read it. Twelve gauge. Twelve gauge. Which is the size of your. Uh, so I think we got some other stuff to discover in that unit. Well, that other, that shotgun I just took in is a twelve gauge. Oh, wow. God. This is flipping amazing. And if you look at that picture of that unit, it still looks like it does. Really? Because obviously we haven't taken anything out of that unit yet. Shotgun cleaning patches. Awesome. All right, well, let's carry this shit in. Y'all, this is amazing. I'm very excited. Let's, uh... <sighs> wow. We gotta get our trailer emptied. <laughs> yes. So we can go down and get all this stuff. The trailer needs to get emptied. Alright, so, uh... We'll see you in a second. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and family, fellow subscribers, internet stalkers, strangers, haters, and those ladies who desire my companionship. It is I, your good buddy, Delton, and welcome to the nine pound hammer Friday morning afternoon edition for those of you who caught the auction last night um, we had some knives we're going to have knives for the foreseeable future um, Bob and I bought a storage unit on storagetreasures.com for $1310 and in just a couple of duffel bags and boxes in the front that Bob could fit in his little bitty Honda Civic before not even going into the unit just the stuff that was right there we got three shotguns five swords and over 500 pocket knives that is of no exaggeration there are boxes upon boxes of pocket knives there is one there's one pocket knife that I look I just like, and they were just all in boxes, but the boxes were in garbage bag. There's one, it's a Case S, Case XX. I forget the model number, 05321 or something like that. That knife alone 
has sold on eBay for $136. Ours is brand new. On top of that, ours is a presentation knife for the construction company Brown and Root. If you know anything about Brown and Root, Steve Earle actually had a song about Brown and Root back in the 80s. So, we got dual collectability there. And it's brand new. So, I am on my way right now to Whitney, Texas. Bob and his son Jake have already left. I had to empty out my car. So, I am headed down there. Like, we're, we're so excited about this. Like, we still have our trailer that's still full of all of my shit from Illinois. When I went up there in, in the beginning of March to empty out my storage unit I had up there. We haven't emptied that out. And the trailer has a flat tire. So we're we're so excited about this unit. We've rented it for another month. And um, we're going today and going to load up my car. Not sure where we're going to put everything because my house and my garage are absolutely packed. But we will find a way. I assure you. So I am so, so very excited about this. I can't even explain it. But first, I must swing by the Starbucks and get my morning fluid of life. That being my my uh, Grande Nitro Cold Brew in a venti cup with extra sweet cream, for those who are keeping track. Or I may just get a venti hot coffee. Eh, it's, too, it's too warm for hot coffee. It's 90 degrees right now. Oh, crap. I said good morning. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Holy crap. All right. So uh, I'm getting a little late to start today. I did not realize it was that late. Oh well, we'll see you at the auction tonight. So I am uh, pulling up here to the storage unit in Whitney, Texas. Hey Bob! I think we got the good stuff yesterday because we can't get the shit without having to try to pull all this stuff out. Really? Huh. Well, Bob says he thinks he got all the good stuff yesterday. That sucks. Let me back up and uh, we'll see what we can get. Alright, let's uh, turn the old camera around. That's kind of cool. It's filled with gold, Bob. There's one, two, three tables. A f f watering trough. I'm not sure how much we're hauling out of here today. Yeah. Hmm. 
and squeeze in here. There's a weed eater. Looks like a nice weed eater. A weed eater, a few ladders. You got that dolly there. What is it? Oh, yeah. I'm excited about this smoker. Huh. Well, I'm gonna set my phone up here. And maybe just start to... Be careful what all you try to pull out of there. Well, why don't we make a path, like, like from right here, and see if we can, we can get any access rather than just willy-nilly just grabbing shit randomly. More books, Bob. There's tools, weights. Ooh, autographed baseball bat. No idea whose autographs those are. How many is there? One, two, three. Huh. You make any of those out? Okay, guys. I am here in the unit. Say hi, Bob. Hey, Bob. So I am standing on uh, like a backyard cooler kind of thing, wooden. But check out here. I don't know if I can check out the smoker. Let me flip the camera. This is like the smoker of my dreams. It's got upright smoker, barrel, and then the side firebox. Y'all have no idea how how excited I am about that. So I'm going to attempt to sit on this upright smoker and see if I can grab a few of those totes. Uh, lots and lots of Christmas stuff. There's, there's a big angel, but if you look behind Bob, there's like a seven foot uh, angel heralding a trumpet. So lots of good Christmas stuff. Too bad I can't ship it all to Spain. But... Uh, all right, so I'm gonna get at this and uh, give you an update here in a minute. All right, boys and girls, as you can tell, my car is absolutely cram packed full. I was uh, deeply let down. <laughs> um, to some degree. Um, I was hoping there would be more guns and knives just everywhere flowing out in boxes as it happened for Bob yesterday. That is not the case. Uh, I discovered lots and lots of Christmas stuff. Yay. However, there is a giant upright smoker, which I showed you in the clip previous to this, that I will probably end up buying from the business. My proposition will probably be I give the business my current smoker, which I just bought, that has a retail value of $689 that I have used just a couple of times, and maybe uh, some cash consideration, and then I keep this big, beautiful monstrosity that then maybe I could one day start my barbecue business up again. That excites me. Um, there's a great big, like, wardrobe. Excuse me. 
wardrobe entertainment center dresser looking thing that uh, we could not get to. It's strapped. It's got like heavy duty tie down straps ratcheted around it so we didn't and everything is literally thrown in there like like you can tell they stack totes in the back but it's been there for years because the totes have started to give way and you know squat and whatever due to the weight stacking on top of them and uh, so yeah so there's that um, it, it's gonna, and there's huge, huge Christmas lawn ornaments. Like that, like, trumpeting archangel thing was like seven, seven and a half feet tall. It was huge. And there's lots of other stuff. Lots and lots of Christmas stuff. Oh my god, the Christmas stuff never ends. Why can't we get a storage unit that is free of Christmas stuff? But, we are going to absolutely make our money back on this unit probably just in knives not to mention the uh, the 410 shotgun and then the other shotgun that was uh, manufactured in 1900 um, yeah so we're, we're, we're excited I was just hoping I could uncover some treasure today but Bob felt greedy and gave me no chance to un uncover treasure. Him and Jay got there half hour before me and had already already been knee deep into it. But oh well. There's got to be jewelry in there. There has to be. Like with all those knives and guns. I mean those are very valuable items. It would only stand to reason that. I mean unless unless they never wore jewelry, which is a distinct possibility as well. Um, so yeah, a lot of Oklahoma Sooner stuff. And there was several uh, like high school championship trophies and letter vest jackets and, and the kid, the son, was a prom king. Uh, I think in 1997, I think the thing said. So, and then there's lots of OU stuff. There's a great big OU championship picture, frame picture. So maybe, maybe the kid of the dad played for OU. And, uh, in the national championship team. I don't know. So that's a possibility. I've seen some, uh, collegiate stuff that was autographed in one of the, the boxes. So, I didn't do a whole lot of filming as I started, started getting really, really dizzy. So, I don't know if it's the heat or just my general uh, prowess of physical fitness, but <laughs> I, I, I got real dizzy, didn't feel real good very quick. So, every time I like would bend over and stand back up, I'd almost fall over. So, I, I know I can feel my blood sugar is low. I haven't eaten anything today. I know I should probably get that taken care of pretty quickly. Probably sooner than later. But we got to go home and prepare lots for tonight's auction. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> So uh, I guess I'll see you later.